Hello my dear children. In today's science class, we will discuss about dispersal and its agents. It is under our first chapter. Then let's start. The process by which the seeds are scattered away from the parent plants are called dispersal. <clears throat> Parents or plants, parent plants take help of agents like wind, water or animals to scatter their seeds. These agents carry the seeds and scatter them away from the parent plants. Now we are going to discuss all the agents one by one. First, wind. The seeds of plant like cotton and dandelion are very light and have either wings or hair on them. These features enable them to be easily carried away by wind. Clear children? The seeds or fruit of plants growing near or in water are either spongy or fibrous. This enables them to float on water. Example, coconut and lotus. Animals, human beings and animals eat fleshy fruit like apples, mangoes, etc. and throw away their seeds in different places. These seeds germinate into new plants on getting appropriate conditions for growth. Explosion. The fruits of some plants explode when they dry. This process scatters the seeds away from the parent plants. Example, P. Move on to next topic. Reproduction through other parts of the parent plants. As you already know children, plants grow from seeds but some plants also grow from the different part of the parent plants. The method of growing new plants from other parts of plant is called vegetative propagation. Now we are going to discuss reproduction through other parts one by one. First, through stems. New plants are also grown from stems. Cutting of stems are taken from parent plants that have buds on them. New plants grow from these buds. Example, rose and hibiscus. Two leaves. Some plants reproduce from their leaves. Example, bryophyllum are thick and fleshy and have many buds along their edges. New plants are grown from these buds. Through roots, sweet potato and carrot are roots that store food. When replanted, these roots grow into new plants. Through spores, special structure called spores that help in reproduction, fungi such as bread mold and mushroom also reproduce by these spores. Now, our next topic is crops and agriculture. Now, what is crops? Crops are plants that are grown in large quantities for food. Now, crops can be classified into two groups. 
according to the season one is kharif crop and other one is ravi crops now what is kharif crops these are the crops which are grown in summer season example are rice maize jute cotton barley etc and ravi crops these are the crops grown in winter season example are wheat pea gram etc culture the growing of crops on a large scale by adopting systematic method is termed as agriculture now the steps in agriculture are first plowing before showing sheets in the field the soil is prepared it is loosened over the entire field this is called plowing number 2 showing after plowing good quality and healthy seeds are shown number 3 adding fertilizers seeds require nutrients for proper growth manure and fertilizers are added to the soil to make it rich in nutrients it is safer to use manure instead of chemical fertilizers fourth one irrigation it means watering the crops after sheep germination and growth of new baby plants the field is irrigated properly fifth one using pesticides and insecticides are sprayed over the crops to protect from rat moles insect etc and the last stage is harvesting strong and transportation when the crops is ripe the farmers cut it it is known as harvesting the harvested crop is stored safely and transport to different places hope this full chapter is clear to you all children thank you